Hello and welcome to the video. Before we get started, if you'd like to provide input on future content and get our weekly newsletter, click on our survey. Uh, the link will be below. We also have uh, a report on Ethereum 2, along with a bonus report on why you should learn Solidity now. Again, the link will be below. Now on to the video and thank you. Okay, so this is my second attempt to record today because when I went to look at what I did this morning, uh, I ended up having no audio on most of the, uh, of the video, just a little section at the end. So um, we're going to try this again. I did get it to work and the key there was installing the window or having, I actually had it installed, the Windows subsystem for Linux. Now, if you want to run Linux, uh, work with Linux products on a Windows machine, the best way to do it, it there are two ways to do it. One, you can either just, um, you can set up a, a virtual machine um, using VirtualBox or something of that nature. And uh, we've done that. But there's also Windows subset for Linux that essentially runs a little Linux box right in your command prompt. So that's what I did. Um, it can give some weird things like if you're trying to do something else in Windows, you may not have access to a file. Um, you don't have access. You have the app installed in Windows. It's not going to see it in WSL. It will see files though. Although what I had to do is essentially replace the source code and I don't know if it was because it was originally downloaded in Windows and attempted to be built in Windows or because um, there was something else that I'm not sure. But I let me show you what I did. Uh, doing it live is just takes a long time. It's easier to just show you exactly what happened here. So fortunately, I have this whole window up from the beginning. So um, this was from, so here we go. Let me get in. We are now go from just Windows and then we go into WSL, right? right here so we I tried to build it uh, for first the thing I had to do was essentially go through those steps to get it prepared add rust um, make sure it's up to date etc etc um, those are the steps and you'll see them here that um, so I had to get Rust, uh, let's see, yeah, I had to get Rust, I had to, um, you know, do my sourcing, add Rust format, um, and it looks like again, so I had to do, do it again, got Rust going, and, um, then what I had to do, let's see, so I had Rust in, where am I installing here? This looks like I'm installing Rust, and once I had Rust, I had a source, I had to do this Rust FMT, with an update, and then I had to get all the, um, do an update of uh, what what I already had and then I had to do this was the other thing about getting all the other libraries got them there's quite a few and then I attempted to build the first time let me go past this and it went to a certain point when I got an error I decided to start with a fresh set of source code so I deleted it and went back and re re pulled down the source code, re cloned it. 
And let's see if I can get to scroll one in quicker. And you see that's where I got the error. So I said, well, why don't we start a clean? Because who knows what's in there right now with all the messing around that I did. And um, so I eventually stopped, cleaned it out, started again. I did um, right here, Solana, get... Um, Got all the pack. It, it takes some time because again, it gets all the packages. It has to build them all. Now, like 800, as you can see, is quite a few. So don't expect this to be quick. There's a lot there. And let's scroll a little. And you can see, eventually, it did finish. I got a little impatient here. So then. Um, I played around trying to run it and it was giving me an error that it couldn't connect. I did a little looking around. Turned out you have to run it from the your your um, home. So to do that, let's see where I did that. So the other thing I you have to get the I didn't get the path quite right. I'm still trying to still to fix that. But what I did with all this messing around is I finally went and I tried to update the bash. Didn't quite do what I wanted. So what I did is I made sure that I was at the right path, which is that mount. So it treats your D drive like the mount point. My D drive like the mount point, and then I ran it with the full path. Once then, okay, it said I have to create a wallet, etc. But as you can see, it um, worked. It got into a slot, and you can see it's still going, going there. So that is how. I got to work. So let me go over again what I did to get it working is I went into WSL. Again, another alternative is you can set up a, um, a virtual machine using um, VirtualBox or a similar product. Um, are you seeing this? Let me make sure you're seeing all. Yeah, yeah. Good, 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 good. Um, so, I, but I use WSL, so essentially I had a little Linux box running in my Windows command prompt. I had to go through all the steps to get it ready, bring down ruts, bring down the libraries, make sure it had everything as specified in the documentation. And then what I had to do is my first attempt to build it didn't there was something from the old code that probably got changed or whatever it was fix that you know i deleted it got a fresh um download of solana and then i was able to build it and what i had to do and this is important is i had to run it from my home so in linux that would be you know squiggle backslash it, it's your home directory and it, it wanted to be run from there and as you can see once I did that it um, is carrying on it's continuing to run so hopefully this has been helpful uh, and this is a way you can set up a test node right on Windows and um, you can uh, now, one thing I haven't tried, and this is a question, is if I create, go in and run WSL again, will I still, well, will I still see that, um, I, hopefully, I, it'll treat it as one thing. Um, that's actually a very good question. Um, now I'm curious.
Oh. So what I'm doing now, let me see if I can show it to you here. That would be a good idea. Um, let's see. Okay, here we go. Let's bring that up. And make it a little bigger so you can see it. So what I'm going to see, what I want to see here is, is, can I see, yes, so you, they are talking to each other, which is good, which means we can treat this like essentially a normal Linux box and do our experiment, experimentation with uh, sending messages and so on. At least that's what it looks like. So anyway, hopefully this has been helpful and uh, instructive. Uh, thank you for watching and I will speak to you next time. Take care.